Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft, back with another video. Now, um, I have, well obviously like you, probably lots of, you know, sentiment dies and stamps and things. And I'm always finding that when I like make videos and make cards and things, I spend most of my time searching around for sentiment stamps or dies to use. So originally this wasn't going to be a video, but then I thought, hmm, I might as well show you what I'm doing. Um, so I've just got a few that I've managed to cut out. Um, I have loads more to do, but I wanted somewhere to store them so that when I need to make something, I can just go in and find what I want to use. And they're already cut out. So got a few of my favourites here that I like um, and some new ones that just to know I love that if you go on my website I've got loads more of these in um, I'll put the link underneath so what we are making as well what we're using as well is paper another we've got this was the one that I used last week um, when I made the cards and the envelopes and out of that paper pad now that's all I've got left so what we're making is a little binder to sort of store them in and the good thing is you can make more pockets you can add more if you want to so i've made some of the pockets already i'll show you what they're going to look like so basically these are the pockets now i've laminated one side of them um they just open up and you can slot your little dies and you know stamps uh, st what you've stamped and cut out whatever you want so for example I'll just can pop them in see and then I know I can see what I've got I can get what I've got and it's already cut out so I don't have to mess around cutting them out Um, now I've made them different heights to accommodate different sizes because for example these really big ones here if you're going to put them in a small one they're going to just sort of dangle about so what I've done is I've made different sizes and then I can pop these ones in a bigger one so I originally was going to make 10 but I've had a bit of an accident when I was laminating them so I'm going to show you that now I always say when you laminate one side put something in between them because you know they can sort of laminate together so I'm going to show you I didn't because I thought I'll just put them back to back it's okay it wasn't it laminated them both together and now I can't get it apart so I'm going to put some scrap paper in between them which you will see in a minute so I've got one more pocket to make the dead easy so I've got a piece of paper now I've kept them all at 12 inches so it's 12 by 6 inches so you can get two from one sheet of 12 by 12 so the short side just score at half an inch on each side so half an inch five and a half inches now depending on how big you want the pocket um, I've been scoring it at six and a half inches so I'll show you here so we're going to fold these up And fold that up so that would be a really deep pocket all right probably too deep for what I want it for so I haven't even measured it if I'm honest <clears throat> I've just really cut a diagonal sort of line I think some of them I measured them to about one inch and just from the corner to the pencil mark just draw a line and then just cut that's all I've been doing so it's gonna go up like that <clears throat> we need to get rid of these two 
long side tabs here. Just like that and they will fold in. Just cut that one away and that will make your little pockets. And what I've done as well is to try and use up as many scraps as I could. I just had some little scraps from the paper pad that I'm gluing onto the front like that. So I'll show you when we laminate these because when you first run them through they don't sort of stick very well but then I'll show you what we do and now they've stuck really well so this is what I'm doing to decorate mine but of course you can do whatever you want you don't even have to laminate them if you don't want to but I thought well we might as well because it gives them some you know makes them more durable doesn't it really so that's what you have so I'm going to turn the laminate on now I should have another one yet yeah, I'd already done this one so this was just the same so let's get a bit of room here so I'm going to get a laminating pouch I've just got an A4 pouch just a normal glossy one so I'm going to open it up now this is going to be the front so this piece that you will see so I want to put that face down okay so that's going to go face down then I've just got a scrap piece of this paper that is going to go over the top of it and then again this is the bit we're going to see so I want this face up that's going to go in like so you see and then we're going to close the pouch now if there's any little bits that are sticking out like that what you could just do is just trim a little bit off here so that's what we have and put it through like that or as I say mine completely laminated together without having this paper in the middle and this is because we're only doing one side of them oops now i forgot to tell you something so the little tabs here i don't want to laminate them because i only want when we stick these together i only want paper to paper i don't want to be gluing on lamination because it just doesn't stick it may at the time but trust us it will come away so fold them underneath and it won't laminate them turn it over same with the other one just fold them underneath tuck them underneath all right so that's what you will have ready to go through think mine's ready and I'm just going to pop it through so that's done and then I'm just going to start to trim this down a bit so it opens up. Just make sure you're not cutting the other side of your envelope. I'm 
and then you can just sort of cut round it and the paper from underneath will just fall away. You see, it will just come away. Your little tabs will come out. Now you can just start to trim all this off. There we go. Now, what I did was I've kept the laminator on and now I am going to run it back through just on its own and it really helps seal it, like seal it together. Right, so can you see? That is now all sealed much better than it was when we ran it through the first time. So go over and if you have any bits of laminate sticking, lamination pouches, little bits sticking, just cut them off because the less, the less likely to sort of start to peel away. And then you're just going to do that with however many pockets you want to make. You can see it just totally seals them when you do it that way. So what I've also been doing is rounding the corners on the back and it's basically just I put glue and tape down them and then just stick them together and there's the pouches. Now I'm going to do the same with the other one um, and then I'll be back. All right I've um, I've done that now I want to show you what I did after that so I've glued them together but look what I did after that I run these through again so I want to show you what I mean. Just put it in this um, the folded side and it will just run through it just makes sure again everything's sealed and it just sort of flattens and straightens them out. Okay. So move on to a simple little binder now. All right, so for the binder, I've used the paper pad as well. <laughs> I just cut um, the front and the back up and I'm just gonna glue them together and then I'll tell you what the measure in a minute. But yeah, I was just determined to use as much of the pad as possible. So I'm just going to glue these together just to make them, you know, a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit more thicker really. And I'll tell you what the measure. So I've cut mine to seven inches by five and a quarter inches obviously you need two sides and um, if you want to double it up cut four pieces so I've already done the front one and it's gonna have to be different paper because I just didn't have enough to do it the same so I want this to be on the back and all I'm gonna do is glue this on just make sure you cut a piece of paper which probably allows you to have maybe it's about an inch spare all the way around. So do you see? So I'll tell you the measure, the size of this paper. It's seven it's seven inches by I would say eight and three quarters. And then all I'm going to do is take a bone folder and I'm just going to score down the side of this card here just so it makes it easy to fold over and then just start and fold it over. And then if you've got a little sort of mitre tool, 
you're supposed well you just put your knife on and cut it but I haven't I don't want to cut this because it's only like board and sticky back plastic it'll ruin it so I'm just gonna draw it with a pencil and then I'll just cut it off with my scissors <coughs> There, I'm just going to cut that straight off like that. And there we go. So, I'm just going to pop glue down and get these stuck over. Just like that so I just do the opposite sides first and then if you just sort of push these little corners down <coughs> When you fold that over, this should be sort of nice and neat. I'm just going to trim a little bit off them. Right, and then you can just glue them down as well. Or you can use tape, it's entirely up to you. Okay, see it gives a nice neat corner. Same with this side, just sort of push that down, glue all over. you're going to need a piece to cover the back of this so I've just luckily I've got a piece of this which I'm going to have to trim so I'll trim this down and then I'll tell you what this measures is six and a quarter by five inches and then this is just going to get glued over the top of that and that's basically it really but you're going to get you know a decent use of papers with this and it's practical because I've been meaning to do something like this for ages because I do I spend most of my time searching for stuff to use like die you know sentiments and die cutting them and things so I used a couple of these little sort of hooks okay so let me open these and I had to use my crocodile to punch the holes and I just used each one as a guide because of course you can put the holes anywhere really wherever you want them so that's the front this is the back so again I'm just going to put this over and I'm just going to use this as a guide once I get these bits of paper I hate them bits of paper I keep sticking in the holes and then just go through and hopefully this should pretty much be in the same place there we go so yeah I'll have this one will be the back this will be the front so I'm going to start and put the little rings back in there we go so now I can store 
all of my little sentiment die cuts or stamped sentiments and then I know I'm not fishing around what I want to use and cutting them out and stuff and then trying to find the card as well <laughs> and of course I can add more to these I could add bigger size rings if you know I really wanted to add more and you can just slot them in there so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you'll give it a try I'll have all the measurements on my blog and my website a link if you want to purchase some of these dies like I see I've got this one back in this is beautiful I love this so I'll put the link but yeah um thanks for watching take care and bye for now